the bottom line is he signed a secrecy non-disclosure agreement. He took proper training, as all of us who have access to classified information do, as to we cannot take this information out of secure facilities. You cannot copy it. You cannot certainly disseminate it to third parties without authorization. So why he did it irrelevant, that he did it, that's basically all the government needs. Section 793 of the Espionage Act would be the most serious for him. Uh, ironically, during the Trump administration, President Trump increased the sentencing range that now the penalty is up to 10 years, where it had usually been or previously been five years. In fact, why ironic? Because this is the section that President, former President Trump may in fact be charged with for what occurred down at Mar-a-Lago with his unlawful possession and retention of national defense information. Uh, and so the penalty is now increased. So Everything now is online and the forensic digital trail is key for allowing the US government to much more easily identify and trace who had access and then uh, took and then disseminated the documents. And because Discord is based in the United States, it was an easy act of simply serving a subpoena upon the company to gain access to that private Discord platform to see who the members are, what their IP addresses are, who has what username, who registered, uh, and what addresses were used. And as was seen by at least the FBI affidavit submitted to court today, Texera, if, if everything is to be believed, right, was never trying to hide anything. He used his own name, he used his own parents address, he used the same email and contact info that the Massachusetts Air National Guard has for him. This was a simple case for the U.S. government once it knew of the documents being posted online. The notion that uh, an individual, regardless of age or rank, both of which were very low, an individual who has access to classified information, access information they had no need to know, that, that has been an issue in countless cases. That was the issue in Manning's case. That was the issue in Ed Snowden's case. And yet the U.S. government seemingly hasn't done anything yet to fix that problem. The problem is not the grand breadth of people having access to classified information, so long as they're performing their assigned function. It is the number of people who can access information that they have no need to know.